Coach uh, Mikhail says things had like in last night's game, and there was a previous incident between he and Brian, a uh, veteran player and a young player. He's, he's doing his best to not let anyone get under his skin, but is that just how this goes in the playoffs? Uh, it, it happens, and especially, <clears throat> I mean, all that stuff's happening when the game was kind of getting, you know, a little bit out of reach. Um, you know, Boilers probably trying to affect the young player, um, but it's uh, you got to expect anything and everything when it's playoff time. And um, I said, by the time any of that stuff was happened, you know, we'd already done the damage to ourselves well before then, and so. Um, you know, it's just learning experience for guys, but it's uh, no big deal. Yeah, because he's a young guy, it's his first NHL playoffs. Like, versus a veteran guy, this happens to, like, you're like, you don't have to, you feel the need to, like, talk to him after a game or, like, make sure it doesn't kind of. Yeah, well, I don't. I mean, if this was if this or, was 25 years ago, yeah. I think uh, there might have been a little, a little bit of nerve wracking, but yeah. these millennials coming up now, they don't, they don't care. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. So, um, and, and, the, and the sports change a little bit, too. It's. Mm -hmm. This, what happened last night again, reverse the clock to the 80s and 90s, there's probably 400 minutes in penalties. And, uh, you know, in this. Uh, An actual line brawl. Right? Yeah. Now the, now the line brawls, all the gloves are still on, so it's a little different. I know you were disappointed with the kind of mental mistakes or penalties late in the game, but overall, in the big picture of the whole scope of the game, you knew they give you their best shot. Did you overall feel pretty happy with the way, you know, five on five and the way guys. You know, yeah, I, to be honest, I thought we pretty much controlled that game right up to, you know, the the power play right before they scored their first goal, and even then that was a gift. Um, you know, we've done that on a couple occasions now in, in this playoff. We just pass the puck right, get the primary assist, giving it to their best player, um, and we just we know better. Um, but even after that, we we kind of weathered the storm, and you know, we scored that. Uh, goal early in the third uh, but you know putting us down five on three that was that was a, a you know another mental error on our part uh, that we kind of got out of we we got out tied and and again don't mind our game and I think we had that crazy scramble there in front where I'm blown away we didn't score and we come out of it taking another penalty and uh, it was just too many you know too many self-inflicted wounds, and you know, eventually they scored. Does any momentum change in the series when Corey Schneider gets his first win? The team reinstills some confidence in his teammates. Just how do you take away his confidence now going into Game Four? I don't think so. It's uh, there's momentum swings whether the goalie changes or not. Um, big hits, big goals, bad penalties, you name it, that can swing momentum. So. Um, yeah, changing the goalie, that made no difference for us. The penalty bill had its struggle second half of the year, but I mean, it's been really good in, in the playoffs so far. Just what overall things have you seen maybe that things have been more effective with or maybe things that you guys have maybe made adjustments to? That... Well, we, we've, uh, I don't know, I thought we had a pretty good plan coming in. Um, you know, we've settled on, on some regular pairings, which has really helped us. and. Um, we're just, we've been much more responsible. We've blocked a lot more shots, which we weren't doing in the regular season. And um, there's definitely work to do still. I mean, they're still getting some chances. And, um, you know, we could win some more face off, clear some more pucks, which gives them, giving them a little bit more uh, zone time. But um, overall, uh, they've been really good. Can I handle a caper tomorrow, I think? Or? Uh, probably, probably not. Which one? That's for you to figure out. <laughs> well, our, our D have been a big part of our offense all year, and, and one of the things that we need to do better is get shots through. And uh, in game two, I think our D only had five shots. We had much, many more shots uh, last night, but still not enough. Too many blocked, too many missing the net. And, um, for us to be effective, we're really getting our D involved, and that's definitely something we have to do. Johnson, we gotta get on the bus. Uh, what's that? Johnson, I know about makes, but he's okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think. Uh, well, we hope we'll have to see in the morning if he's gonna be okay. How close is Ernie? Ernie, like, still the series? Ah, uh, yeah, no, not in the series.